Morning, Dom. Morning, Rick. Morning, you lot. You're watching the Two Fuels. Cool. <laughs> Dom's looking into the camera. Put your sexy eyes on, Dom. If you're new to the channel, we make <laughs> videos about cars and we have a laugh along the way. In this episode, we're driving a 2017 Mini Clubman JCW. So, let's go for a drive. Watch the mattress. <laughs> Watch the dogging mattress. What's he doing? Oh, just in any Mini Clubman. We're in my Mini Clubman. Um, so there's a John Cooper Works Mini Clubman. John Cooper Works Mini Clubman. John Cooper so works. this car's come about uh, due to COVID really. I had to get rid of my M140 and work with the car, which is a company car, which is gone. So we had to find a do it all car. Is, uh, is the way we've looked at it. So, what's it? I like your M140. The M140 was good fun. Yeah. Uh, thanks for rubbing that in. Sorry. So, yeah, so we've got the, uh, the the Clubman. We had a look around, me and my wife had a look around at several different cars and we were trying to find something that was able to do everything. So, look good uh, on a day to day basis. It had to look good on a professional basis on meetings and it's also got to hold its own on uh, road trips. Plus, it's also got to have a, a decent amount of fun, decent bit of power to it. First of all, this is Dom's uh, first kind of jaunt out in this car. It's 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 a nice car. Um, there's no two ways about it. Is it is it real carbon? It's real fake carbon. Yeah. Real fake carbon. I like real, real fake, fake carbon. Flame. Real fake carbon. So, oh. um, yeah, I think I think as a as a way the car looks, as a bit of fun. There's don't see many of them on the road. No, they're definitely. Um, to be fair, yours is the first I've seen it, if I'm being brutally honest, so that's how rare they are. So, so that's either a, a good or a bad reason, yeah? No, I, I think it's, a, I think it's a, a good reason to have a car, something a bit different, a bit so quirky, it's cute. Cute, it's cute. massive, how can something this big be cute? Because it's cute. Some people describe you as cute. <laughs> Some people do. Do they? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Inch wheels, Don wants to know how much tread's left on the tyres. What about the tread? Just the size of the tyres, it would be nice to know, you know, how much rubber we've got underneath us. Hello, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the tyre sizes are, they are standard tyre sizes. The Bridgestone, Bridgestone pretends are run flats, which uh, they're all right. They came on the car, so they'll do the winter. The wheels and tyres look great, I've got to give them that. However, the ride is a little bit harsh and with the suspension which is stiff anyway really yeah yeah, yeah. i think this is really You're quite nice out. i'm sorry but this is really quite nice on that gt3 I'm so this is this in. is no 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 this is definitely stiff suspension in it oh, okay having just moaned about the suspension i do think it could do with visually being dropped big bottle 25 30 mil just to get rid of that arch gap however Side to that end, we were just chatting earlier about ground clearance. Having a bit of ground clearance. Ground my, clearance my is nice. My 40 was a little bit of a ground scraper. Well, it was lowered to um, possibly as far as you could go, if I'm so being honest. It, it had HR springs on it, which really dropped it down, and it was um, a bit of a, a bit of a ground scraper. So, this is a bit of a revelation in being able to drive over the speed bumps. Now, I'm just going to have to slow down and concentrate a little bit now. It has actually hammered it down over here lately. Yeah, it's been pretty great. Rather a large amount of water on the road. Just. Oh, they're big puddles. Yeah. Oh, so would you put HR springs on this? The wife allows springs to go on it. Don't tell us, you'll never know. Um, I say this does have to be used as a daily cell, as well as coming out on the nice country roads. It's also got to make its way around Manchester City Centre, which is not one of the friendliest places with the best roads. So, um, I would put springs on it again, it'd look better. But, uh, she'll, she'll never know. Um, she won't watch this, so she'll never know. She'll never, she'll never watch oh. this. <laughs> what um, are you thinking of a little mini windscreen wipers in the back windows? I think they're fairly stupid if I'm being very honest. Are they not cute? No, <laughs> they're a long way from cute. Change wipers are not cute. I'm going to do a job though, I'm just going to pop them on now so I can see how they are. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They're, they're about three inch wipers. They are. Three inch wipers are not cute. We took, we took the straps off the bonnet, um, but we've left them on at the sides. 
Um, obviously it's got the, the mirrors and it's got the roof which are red to match up with the graphics. Big pump. Big pump. And we um, black packed it as well, so with Kill All Chrome and we bought a black pack from it which is the uh, headlights, tail lights, door handles, belt line. Everything that was chrome was kind of gone now, so... Uh, did they install that or did you install that? It's in that. Oh, right. So that's a kit, kit you can buy from Kill All Pro. Um, and I think, from a personal point of view, I think the black packs look better. I don't know what you think, Dom. Uh, I think chrome in any car is wrong. Yeah, it's very 1980s. On a Jag. Yeah. Even on a Jag. Maybe the old, maybe the old style Jags, but yeah, certainly yeah. anything new. Um, no, chrome, chrome's not good. No place for chrome. No chrome place. should be killed. Chrome should be killed. So the other thing I like about the outside of this car is like my M140, it's pretty understated. I know in your GT3 it's also pretty understated with that massive wing down the back of it. But the 140 is like a pretty understated car, it's not a um, it's not a Honda Civic type R. Well this has not been reversed into Halford backwards, has it? No, it hasn't. So, that's exactly. So you've got to look at that. Um, so you've got the you know you've got the GP3 that's just come out that does look a little while we're out there. We do know someone that's bought one of those. We do, so um, if he's kind enough to lend us that, maybe we'll do a little review on it. And That'd be nice, it'd be nice to compare it to this as regards of seeing how much taking out 500 kilos of weight does for a car. Yeah. Well, we're taking Darren out to the GP3. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Darren. Yeah, we would like to borrow your car. <laughs> so, outside, vents. Yeah, if we're, talk if we're talking outside of the car, the modern day is fake vents. Yeah. I don't know, but why, so, why have they got a crowd at the front of the car for obviously an intercooler of some description but we put a fake vent on the front of it? I think, uh, well it was there when they first had the one they, when they had the supercharger in it I think. Right. Uh, and then obviously it's a styling queue which has become synonymous with the Mini Cooper, Mini Clubman. So it's just on there for... It's a shame. Is there not a kit for it? Oh well, yeah, I, um, I've, I've got, the, um, got the factory kit at home. Okay. We just uh, we just pop some. Maybe that can be a new thing we can start doing. We can well, just go around and start. Unless somebody's got a kit for it that we don't know about. Yeah, if anybody's got a kit out there, let us know. So we've done. Uh, we've had a quick chat about the outside of the car. Don't about the inside of the car. This is your first time sat in it. I uh, I like the seats in this car. I think they're pretty, they're pretty comfy sports seat. They are pretty comfy. They, they are a pretty comfy sports seat. They're Play carbon again. No, no, no. no. Seats are good, double sunroof, yeah? Yeah, double sunroof. Well, if we're talking about fake vents, probably the biggest fake vent in here is the back sunroof because it doesn't open. Ah. Uh, so it's uh, purely a glass sunroof to look, uh, look good, like a light in. Yeah, but it does look good though. It well, does we, would look have good. The, um, we would have the front sunroof open today, however. Um, Do we get wet? Inside, it's nice, it's pretty well laid out. I was a little bit surprised when I uh, looked at it that we've lost the rev counter and we've gained a square sat nav in a circle <laughs> yeah. yeah that's that's about you know it's a bit like pizzas in a square box with triangles in so yeah it's 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 good so it's all laid out well my uh my little gripe on a on a touch point in this car is the steering wheel and the paddles now this steering wheel i think is like a great shape but it's really, are we allowed to swear on YouTube? We can bleep it out. Okay, we can bleep it out. It's really Ish. quality leather. <laughs> but yeah, the steering wheel, I don't know, you're touching this all the time. It should be, it should be a nice leather. And then on the back of the steering wheel are two pathetic plastic paddles, which on a car which was 30 grand new. It's quite a lot, only 30 grand. The plastic paddles could be should be a lot better than this so i have actually got a set of paddles coming from mmr performance which are going to supersede these and going to make it a lot better i had those on my 140 as well but from a factory point of view i kind of have a bit of a gripe about this it's one of my only gripes really but yeah see what you're you're like when you get in dominant what you think but okay so can i drive it can you drive it yeah 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 we can All we right, can okay. get you driving Dom. <laughs> let's swap seats in a minute Wowzers! Yeah, far back are you going? Oh, far back are you going? Sit in the back if you want, Dom. Wowzers! Okie dokie! 
Safety first, Dom. Seat belts on. Always. Safety first. So, first impressions of the Clubman John Cooper Works. It pops and bangs. Yeah. Quite nice, to be fair. It's four wheel drive. It's a little bit more suited to these tropical conditions upon the moors today. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's reasonably pokey. When we got the car, I knew it was going to be quite a bit down on power versus my 140. So the 140 was doing 340, 350 brake. Yeah, the, the, um, the, that was quite a quick car to be fair. Kind of out, out, out of the factory. This, uh, this came with 230 brake. Um, and it was all right, it just wasn't. Uh, all right. What what were they aiming at when they brought it out? I mean, is it sort of Golf R-ish? Was that the sort of? I think it's more Golf GTI territory. This is. Yeah, but surely the Golf GTI is two-wheel drive. This is four-wheel drive. A bit bigger, it's possibly a similar type of. Well, it's definitely down on power for the for the Golf R. But I said the new one that's come out is, is 306 brake uh, out no. the factory. So that's a bit more Golf R territory, A35, that kind of side of it. I don't know where this was. Sitting really, I mean, it probably watch your Focus RS that you used to have, yeah. No. Don't, don't quite know about no. life, I mean, that's because that was obviously one of Litchfield's test mules, um, which had theoretically all the little trinkets and toys yeah, that yeah. Litchfield threw yeah, at yeah. it. So maybe standard, maybe something like similar, but certainly as it was, that was a car that just tried to kill you one way or the other, either into a ditch or into an yeah, oncoming see, vehicle. That's where four wheel drive helps out rather than torque stuff. <laughs> Well, no. Yeah, but Talkstate keeps life interesting. <laughs> Talkstate does indeed, yeah. I don't know what the competition for this is really, as you've said, with the, with the four-wheel drive. But I say on the factory this was doing 230 brakes, so um, we took it down to Dervtech, Dervtech Tuning, um, down in Stockport. It's for their stage one map, and they do a bespoke map for, for these. So this bumped the power up to 285 brake, and it was about an extra 25% torque in it, so. Oh, big pop. Is it a sports factory exhaust or is it standard? It's, it's, I don't know, it's just a standard Cooper Works exhaust. It has plenty of pops of banks to it, to be honest. Once you get it warmed up, it really does crackle and pop away. Would you look at putting another exhaust on it? I'll well, put an exhaust on it, yeah. A Re yeah. Remus system or something like that? Because yeah, I had a Remus on the, the Focus and that was definitely. Um, that yeah. up, the, up the up the asbel level enough that it yeah, was I mean, nice. All, fairness, but all, all these exhausts are they're all valved and they're all switched and everything these days, aren't they? So yeah, this is actually pretty. It's pretty restrained when you've just got it in normal drive mode. It's only when you sort of pop it up into sports mode that it starts getting a bit more raucous. And in all fairness, in the cabin as well, it's not exactly obtrusive, is it? It's uh, no, it's, it's, it's nice. It's a nice, a bit, but, you know, it's a nice drive to be fair. It's, so yeah, sort of power wise on our kind of. Does it look good? Does it go fast? It goes fast enough. It's probably down to about five seconds now, going to 60, which is not quite what this car's about, but it's a pretty fast not to 60. Well, as I said last week, that any car that's sort of four or five seconds is a quick car, whichever way you want to look at it. I mean, I know they're not sort of GT3 fast, but it's a slightly different animal, but certainly I think at, at that level, it, it's there's enough in it to keep you entertained, yeah. and certainly there's enough poke and power and talk to, to drag your pills, which it's going to do up for the next year when we go back into Europe. So that, that should be good. Hopefully, if we get back into Europe. Is that going to happen? Brexit. So when we're talking about Europe, by the way, for those of you that don't know, uh, I run Slap Adventures and Dom, uh, as much as I hate to say, it's probably my right up man now these days and, and helps out on all the trips. So um, yeah, we, we spend a fair bit of time driving roads, driving the Scottish roads, driving in the Alps, so we go Italy, Austria, Switzerland, Germany, France, to all the best places. So yeah, this car's got to, it's got to do it all. No lift on this, is there? No, there's no, there's definitely no lift on this. So does it go fast? Oh. Yeah, no, no, it goes fast. It definitely goes fast enough for what it is, considering it's all in round. I mean, what's this? Weight-wise, yeah, uh, it was about uh, 1,200 kilograms for me, in it. 
<laughs> no, honestly, I don't, I don't know the way it is. Sorry, it's a cheap shot, though. <laughs> But, but as it being a cheap shot, if you like me having a cheap shot at Dom, make sure you like the video and subscribe. <laughs> because the more people that like and subscribe, the more we'll take the mickey out of Dom as we go along. So make sure you do that, yeah? <laughs> so now you're in the driver's seat, Dom. What's your take on the suspension? I think it's stiff. Do you still think it's quite supple? No, the suspension is positively... Supple and compliant? Sublime. I think it's a really, really nicely sprung car. Uh, I think if you put a set of springs on it, it'll certainly aid the looks of the car. Whether it'll actually help it comfort-wise or performance-wise will be a different animal. I think to sort of do that, I think you'd be better off putting a set of proper coilovers on it, but whether it sort of would require that to do what you want it to, to achieve is a bit of a different animal. It's not recording audio, which is good because we sound like snuffling pigs. <laughs> Plagued by rain the entire day. Hailstorm, lightning coming down now, so we're just trying to finish off today's video with a little synopsis of Did I get a car that is an all-rounder that looks half decent, looks better than half decent, and it goes well? Yeah. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go with that. I'll, 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 I'll give you that. It's, um, it, it's, it's looks are subjective. It's looks are subjective. Well, it's a mini, isn't it? It's, yeah. That's what it. That's what it is. Subjective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Inside. It's cute inside. inside. Yeah. And um, it goes alright. So yeah. I think you've got to sort of go, you know, for what it goes, for what it is. You can take lots of options. If anybody can still hear us, because the hailstorm is now bonkers. The leaves are <laughs> the leaves are coming down. <laughs> Look at how they say, I'll be honest with you, can we? Wow. So yeah, I think uh, from the two fuels that's enough for us today, we better concentrate.